Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to clean the support off this print using hot water. I thought using hot water could potentially make it easier to remove the support as well as leave a cleaner finish than removing the support normally. I guess we'll find out in a jiffy. We occasionally come across with models that need a lot of support for it to print, like this one. So here I thought using hot water might make it easier to remove. So for the first print that failed, we will remove this normally with just a pair of pliers. Some of the support could be a bit sharp, so be careful when removing them. Also, the main body may be sharp and rough from the pieces that you ripped off, so be careful of that as well. The feet support is definitely hard to remove. Now let's move over to the hot water method. I'll soak my print in for roughly 3 minutes, and then we can start removing it. The support actually came out really soft and I can just tear it off with my hands. I don't even need a pair of pliers for this. And I must say, the hot water also warms up your hands as well. With this method, I don't have to be scared of the rough edges or the sharp pieces as they, they come off relatively easy. After all that, I still need to use a pair of pliers for some bits where my fat fingers aren't able to fit in to grab it off. Now let's compare the two now. I would say from the initial comparison, it looks the same. But let's take a look at it a bit closer. Upon a closer inspection, it would seem like the nukes and cranny of the legs look a tad more clean with the one that we used hot water. However, on the back it looks relatively the same, not much of a difference. Now onto the last side. This side definitely shows that the nukes and cranny looks a lot more clean than the one that we didn't put in hot water. And for the feet, I must say that I can see the most difference here. The sides are less rough, and it was also easier to clean it out with a hot water in place. Before we wrap up the experiment, I also want to try using the heat gun to remove the support on low settings. Never mind, it just melted the PLA and now it's even harder to remove. Here is the place where it melted my support and also some of the pillars um, also got melted and it just came out as a mess. Well there you have it, we tried removing support inside hot water. And from what I experienced from this experiment, I would say it is a lot easier and some parts did come out a tad cleaner. You don't need to use pliers and you can just rip it off with your hands and you don't have to worry about the sharp edges as the plastic did soften up a bit. As for the heat gun, it doesn't look like it works. As for the heat gun, it doesn't look like it works or I can't gauge when is an appropriate time where it comes off relatively easy. That's the end of our experiment today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Before I end the episode, I just want to let everyone know about Tinkering U. It's a great platform to explore about 3D printing. We also have a lot of free teaching resources and challenges that can help you jumpstart your classroom. So be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.